Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. Today's video, get ready because I need to get ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> For today's video, I am going to be going over everything that I ordered from Sephora in 2020. And I'm gonna tell you how much I spent. I'm really scared for this video for myself. I don't want Jose to edit this video. I think he might pass out. <laughs> Oh my gosh, makeup is so expensive. Anyways, if you wanna hear all about my dirty little secrets, then just keep watching. Let's skip the intro, let me just say this. I am not going to apologize for how much makeup I've bought, okay? None of y'all can say anything. I work my booty off. I do. I have a full-time job. I am more than financially stable and I am very, very extremely blessed to be in the position where my full-time job, it covers my payments, my bills, loans, all of that. I'm also living with my mommy, okay? Not gonna lie. And my YouTube channel is what is able to supplement my makeup buying. Everything that I make from YouTube, from my AdSense, goes right back into creating content and purchasing content and material for my channel. So that is why I am able to afford all of this makeup. I'm not in a normal scenario, you guys. I did not buy makeup like this before I had a channel. I was very happy that I had a channel that supplemented my needs to buy makeup, my internal desires. So like, no, I don't need to purchase all of the makeup that I buy, but I want to, it makes me happy, it helps my channel grow, and it helps you guys, most importantly. Like, I get to waste my money so that you guys don't have to. Luckily, I got the money to waste. Anyways, unapologetic about it, but <laughs> let's get into it. So my first purchase in January, it was January 23rd, so I actually didn't buy much makeup until the end. Let's see what I ordered. I ordered the ABH Amrezi eyeshadow palette. That palette is so pretty. <laughs> I hardly use it though. Just, I don't know, I feel like it came out at a bad time when we all were sick of ABH, so I never really reached for it. And this random lip liner, which I think I bought because it looks like I paid with a gift card that I probably got for Christmas. So that order was $2.12. So luckily, we're off to a good start. $2.12. Okay, good, good. Let's look at my next order. Okay, so my next order wasn't until February 21st. So that was a month later, look at me. I must have been on a low buy doing a good job. I feel like I order from Sephora every week. Okay, so I purchased the Sublime Perfection Concealer and the Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Setting Powder. Did that come out this year? Did the Pat McGrath Concealer come out in 2020? If it did, I feel like I've owned that concealer for years. Anyways, so that was $65.72. Let me type that in. Great purchase. Those are now literal staples of mine. Okay, and then, wow, I didn't make another order until March 21st. Literally a month later. Look at me, saving money. Okay, so this one was, I mean, it's not a huge order, but it's, it's something, something. So I bought the Tatcha, the Liquid Silk Canvas, which is one of my favorite primers. The ABH Lash Brag Mini Mascara. I still have that unopened. I should probably use that. And then a Luminous Silk from Armani Concealer. That one I wasn't too big of a fan of. It was just a little bit too thin for me. Anyways, I spent $109.18. So I am including taxes and shipping and handling and all of that because it is a total. I mean, I will be putting that in my taxes, on my write-offs. So... Okay, not bad. Like, we started off good in the beginning of the year. I probably was ordering from other stores, I would imagine, but not bad. But then I did place an order nine days later, March 30th. At this point, we were into the thick of COVID. We weren't sure, like, if I should be spending money, was I going to lose my job? What was going to happen to YouTube? Anyways, but I ordered the Natasha Denona Mini Retro Palette. That palette was $25.00. Adorable palette, by the way. $26.50. Okay, little. Not, not as scary as I was expecting. I did place an order 
the next day, March 31st, for the Pat McGrath Labs Mini Opulust lip gloss trio. I remember lusting off of the Opulusts when they released and then I didn't purchase them and I regretted it and I saw they had the Opulust formula in this mini so I obviously was thinking about it enough and I just decided to buy it. It is currently on sale for $14 but I spent $26.50 so okay let me type that in another $26.50. The total right now surprisingly not scary. Where are we at? March 31st? Okay I placed an order the next day. We're on three days in a row. April 1st, I purchased... Oh, this was definitely... Oh, I, I regret not initially purchasing this when it released. The Mini Bloom Blush from Natasha Denona. I spent $20.14 on it. So I remember not wanting to pick this up and then I regretted it when I picked up the Mini Retro. So this went alongside that. So that's what's great about the free Sephora shipping when you're Rouge. You can just order a little bits by bits. I placed an order two weeks later, April 16th. Oof, oof, this one kind of hurts. I spent a total of $307.13. This was for the Sephora VIB sale. I saved $68 in discounts, but taxes was $17 and I paid $17 for overnight shipping. The taxes of being a YouTuber. So my total was $307.13 in my basket. This was a good haul though. I ain't gonna lie. It was a good haul. I got the Kosas bronzer, a Charlotte Tilbury double-ended liner, which began my love affair with colored liner, Artist Couture Supreme Nudes, Tom Ford Arabesque, which isn't the best, Charlotte Tilbury Vintage Vamp, mm, wasn't a big fan of that, Charlotte Tilbury Magic Vanish Concealer, very nice, Hourglass Foundation Stick, eh, Artist Couture Lipstick, yes, that was gorgeous. Okay, let me take a quick screenshot of this. So between taxes and paying for overnight shipping, I did not really save anything. But I was happy with this order. Everything in this order, very satisfactory. I placed a second order April 16th during the Sephora VIB sale. Okay, so I did a round two. I spent $268.13. So I were like on $500 for this Sephora <laughs> sale. Again, I did not No, I paid for overnight shipping. Of course I did. I remember staying up at midnight to order this. So I got another Artist Couture lipstick, two more of the Charlotte Tilbury liners, a mini photo finish from Smashbox because I ran out, the Sol de Janeiro perfume, and all of the Fenty cream products. So those came out this year too. I wasn't as big of a fan of the Fenty cream products. And they made me break out, they gave me zits, which was not, not cute. But I mean, that again was a hefty order. And then let's get to April 18th. I ordered some more because I couldn't stop myself. So this order was $58.09. So a little bit more palatable compared to what I was ordering earlier. So I ended up picking up a Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush palette in the shade Daria. Those have been on sale for forever. $40. $4. It was 50% off and I love those. So I was very happy with that purchase. And then I also got a new Cinema Secrets makeup brush cleaner. Love that for my makeup kit. So these, I mean, the Natasha Denona was not a necessity at all, but it was, she was kind of a deal, you know? She was kind of a deal. I just passed like a, a very expensive order, but it was because it was in sponsorship with Sephora. So I'm not going to count those because it didn't come out of my wallet. April 21st. Ah, that was my mom's order. We share a Sephora account. Thank goodness. It's always nice passing my mom's orders because I'm like, okay, that wasn't mine. We don't have to add. Okay, my next order was May 12th. Oh my gosh. The ABH Norvina Volume 4 Palette. That palette was not very good compared to the other big ones, and it was $60, and I was planning on reviewing it, which I did review it. I paid expedited shipping, so I got this palette for $81.57. Lovely. And I can't believe that palette came out this year. That's another one that it feels like it came out two years ago, and it was not even that good of a release. 
My next order was on May 22nd. Just a little thingy thing. So I picked up the Natasha Denona Safari palette. It was 50% off, so I got it for $64.50. And with taxes, my total was $68.37. Me and my mom, or my mom and I, we shared a makeup collection. We had a lot of mutual products that would travel. It didn't really have a specific owner. You know, eventually I'm planning on moving out. So I've been slowly purchasing some of the luxury palettes on my own so that they could have a home with me permanently when I move out. So that was one of those purchases. So at least I get them for a little bit cheaper, but really not really because my mom and I would like split the cost. We're already into June. So my last order was May 22nd. And then this order, June 22nd. Let's see what this guy is. Okay, so this was a decent sized order. I picked up the Marc Jacobs gold palette that guy was stunning and one of each of the new Patrick Ta formulas that had come out so we had the cream and powder blush amazing the lip crayon and the lipstick really really nice total I spent a hundred and thirty nine dollars and thirty nine cents hmm that was kind of a lot of money and then the next day, apparently, I needed to make another order. Oh, okay, so I picked up the Natasha Denona bronze palette. So that guy was $65. I got it for $68.90. Now, if I recall, actually, I think this palette was for my mom. I ordered the collection off of Beautylish and got the whole collection, but we're just, we're gonna count that, that's fine. And then July 1st, we have an order. And I picked up the Gucci bronzing powder, which was amazing, but that color was horrific on my skin. It was so, 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 so dark. I used a $10 coupon, so I got that for $55.12. That's a lot, a lot for a bronzer, you guys. July 5th, four days later, ah, I got nothing. My mom spent $100, but not me. Okay, July 29th was my next order. I remember placing this order. I was at Jose's dorm room. <laughs> and Patrick Ta had come out with some thingalings. So it was his release of... Did I say Patrick Sta? I meant Patrick Sta? Patrick Star. Not Patrick Ta. Not Patrick Sta. Patrick Star. So I purchased three of the items from his new launch. Like it wasn't even a release, it was his collection, his brand. His brand was coming out. I think I had a gift card that took off $20 and then I had a $10 coupon code. So I spent in total $95.35, which honestly I feel like isn't that bad. But I did pay $17 in expedited shipping, which that was a product that was not worth the expedited shipping. August 10th was my next order. Oh, okay, that was a sponsorship order because <laughs> that was $500. So I did not have to pay for that. I will say the sponsorships did save me a lot of money because I got to pick out products that I would have purchased anyways. But August 16th, I did place my order. Oops, what's, what are you doing? August 16th, I did place my order for the discount. It was one of the Sephora sales, I don't know. But I picked up the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Infinity Powder. This is not worth $50. It's nice, like it's okay, but it's kind of an awkward formula in my opinion. I tried out Tower 28 for the first time, so I got a cream blush, a clear gloss, the Save Our Skin Spray, and a new eyelash curler. So in total, I spent $91 and 15 cents. I didn't pay for expedited or anything. So that was very, very nice. Very cool. Okay, okay. August 18th, just a measly two days later, it looks like Natasha Denona released her Chromium Multi-Chrome Liquid Eyeshadows. Those are the bomb. $28 each is a lot though. Like, I don't know that they're worth the money, but I did spend, how much? $78.44. I got a $10 get discount on that one. 
September 2nd was my next order. And, oh, I picked up the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. Worth every penny. In total, I spent $68.90. That one was certainly a good one. I, I placed another order September 2nd. No, I didn't. I ordered a second glam palette, so that means that was for my mom. So that was not my money. See, we started buying our own now. We don't share anymore because we know my time here is <laughs> gonna end. September 3rd, oh, oh my goodness. I, I made my rare beauty order. My total was $203.52. What the f So I spent a lot, a lot, a lot on Rare Beauty. I don't even know how to take a picture of this to show you guys. The list is so long. But I ended up getting liquid highlighter, which I did not like. The, a couple liquid highlighters. I should have returned one. Anyways, foundation, which is okay. Concealer, which I don't like. The lip creams, which were good. The liquid blushes, which are good the lip balm, which was good, the primer, the hydrating primer, which was definitely, definitely the best thing in that line, and then the eyebrow, which I have learned to really strongly dislike the Rare Beauty eyebrow thing. Oof. Mm. Mm. Let's keep it moving. We're in September. Oh, wow, see? <laughs> I made a lot of orders, more than the average human, but September 5th. Okay, so I made a single order. The Marc Jacobs Omega Coconut Bronzer went on sale for $34. And that's a bronzer that I use in my kit. So I figured while it was on sale, I wanted to pick it up because I love it and I would have wanted a new one anyways. So I spent $36.04 on that one. That was a good deal. It's a really good bronzer too. September 13th, okay, I think this was when a lot of releases were coming out because I have a lot, um, yeah, I got a lot of orders. So the first one on September 13th, I ordered the Marc Jacobs Very Merry Cherry eyeshadow palette, which is really nice, I liked it, and ooh, my holy grail Charlotte Tilbury Superstar Glow, $55 for that. So this was an expensive order. It was $118.14, and this was when there was like a sneak preview of the holiday stuff. It came out early, so I paid expedited for that. So that's why that one was really pricey. <laughs> September 15th, a measly two days later, the Huda Beauty Haze Obsessions palettes came out. Those guys are $29 each. I spent $81.62. I just saw the number on my calculator, but I spent $81.62 on those. I really liked those. I did. I don't think they're like amazing quality by any means, but they were fine. Uh, September 30th, we got a new brand that came out, Makeup by Mario. Oh my gosh, it hurts seeing how much I spent on his line. I am. So I picked up the two of the eyeshadow, no, all three. The mattes, the metallics, the metals, the eye prep. The manipulator, one of the crystal reflectors, which I did end up returning. So I got $24 back. And then I got the liquid eyeliner. So all in all, I spent $263. Man, I don't I don't think it was worth spending all that money on his collection. Like I think his brand is fine, but I think $260 was a lot to spend on that. My next order was October 8th. And I picked up, something just popped in my room. I picked up both of the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palettes. I originally purchased it from the Dior website and that was a whole situation. So I ended up just ordering it from Sephora. I spent $84.80 in total. Those were really good. I, what the heck? Those are really, really good. I like that. There's, I feel like somebody's throwing rocks at me. October 9th, the very next day, I made an order. Rare Beauty came out with their eyeshadow palettes. Doing math at the same time. So these were pretty affordable. They were $25 each and I did not really want to order these, but I'm so glad I did. I ended up really, really liking those. October 10th, the very next day, I placed another order. Natasha Denona's new collection had come out. This is the mini Zendo, the I Need a Nude highlighter, and then two new I Need a Nude lipsticks. This was a very good collection. I didn't like the Zendo palette, but I spent $141.99, which is a lot. 
It's a lot. Let me just stop there. It's a lot. October 29th was my next order. That was a big order. I believe this was for the Sephora sale. Yes, it was. So I spent $222.33. I picked up an Erno Lazo skincare product, some eyelashes, Pillow Talk mascara and eyeliner from Charlotte Tilbury, two Tower 28 lip glosses, Ola Henriksen dark spot toner, and a Dior eyeshadow palette in soft cashmere which I've still not tried. Shame on me. Uh, that was a fun order though. November 3rd, I ordered the Huda Beauty Naughty Nudes eyeshadow palette. I spent $74.79 for that because... I paid for expedited shipping and I'm not gonna lie, that was a, it was a good palette. It was very good. November 3rd, I ordered the Natasha Denona Trio Chrome Palette. This one was a hefty one. This was $127.36. I did get the discount because it came out during the sale, but it balanced out when I paid for expedited shipping. So also on November 3rd, nope, that was my mom. She buying Dior up in here. All right. Now we're on to the last and final order. I recently, I'm actually still waiting for this order, but Sephora had their 25 off a $75 purchase. So I picked up a Tom Ford quad that I've been wanting, the Sulatab, Sulasable, Sulatab, oh my gosh. Sulasable. I picked up that from Tom Ford, so my total to that came to $66.78. Um, halfway through this, by the way, I clicked the wrong button on my calculator, so I have to start over, which I, it's going to make my reaction better, I guess, because I, I lost track, so let me recalculate this. I keep messing up the typing in my calculator. I need Jose to come here and read them to me so I don't mess it up. Can you help me calculate this? I keep typing it wrong in my calculator. I need somebody to read it to me. <laughs> Please. Please. Okay, it's only this number. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wait, wait, let me type it down and show it again. <laughs> <laughs> Type it again. I'll show it again. Show me the number. You could have bought another Peloton bike. I me. I didn't want. To. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. <laughs> okay. I mean, honestly, I was really scared it was gonna be like five thousand dollars. The grand total is. $3,163.17. I mean, I feel like Sephora is my main shopping place, so that's definitely going to be the biggest store. I don't know, like Pat McGrath is going to have a hefty number, Beautylish will have a decent number. Oh gosh, Jose is calling me again. Also, I'm not sure about this, but try tell Siri. Hey Siri, can you do a sum for me? Irrelevant, okay. Like I said, unapologetic about it, but I kind of keep a blind eye to all of the receipts until it's taxes time. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of money to spend on makeup. So I just want to say thank you so much to you guys for supporting me. Remember, I'm only able to buy the makeup that I do because of you guys and I buy it for you guys so that I can tell you what is up with the new makeup and tell you guys my thoughts. So obviously I'm very blessed. Selfishly, I love it, but of course I wouldn't have it without you guys. So thank you so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed it I don't know Do you think it would be fun for me to go over all of the stuff that I got in previous years? And that way we can kind of take a walk down memory lane and maybe see some of the older releases But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go see if Jose's heart is still beating after this. All right. Bye guys. Have a good one <laughs>